Yo, what's going on everyone? Tony the Barber, aka Fade Father. Today I will be doing a bald mid fade, including a beard lineup, and I'm gonna fade it in and everything. So starting out, I'm gonna be drying his hair. I went ahead and washed it before the service to get a better result. Uh, so anybody watching this video, if you want to book your appointment, go to www.fadefathers.com For any of the tools that I'm using, if you want to get them, I'll leave all the links in the description. Starting out, I'm going to be using a six card and I'm going to take it all down. That's the number he wants on top. Next, I'll be setting my bald line with my uh, clipper closed. I don't use my trimmers to do this to make it easy to take that line up. Next, I'll be going uh, right underneath that with my trimmers. Underneath my trimmer, I'm coming in with my shaver. And then uh, that way later on, I know how high I can go with my shaver. Now to start the fade, I'm gonna use my clipper no guard open and I will close it down as I work my way down. After I fade that out, I'm coming in with my one open and I will also close it down as I work my way down. I'm only doing a piece of the head, but follow the same steps all around the head. After that, I use my half guard and I close it down as I work my way down. <laughs> Next up, my one and a half guard open and close it up. And then I'm gonna come back in with my uh, one guard open right underneath that just to clean up a few things uh, like before just open and close as you work your way down Next, I'm gonna come in with my uh, flip over comb just to even it up on the sides, at the top. Just get all the hairs that are sticking out, as y'all can see. I dig in with the comb and kind of pull it out. Now it's time to take down the hair with the trimmers and then shave it up. And if y'all remember in the earlier in the video, I had set that uh, bald line. So this makes it easy for me to just shave it all the way to that point. That'll keep you from getting lost. I'm 
I'm gonna line up his uh, beard with the trimmers and fade it in from a three. I wanted to keep the darkness and really just clean the hairs that were sticking out. So I'm gonna go from a three down to a zero on the side. I didn't get uh, very good angles lining up the bottom, but he just wanted to keep it full, as full as possible. So I just uh, ended up at the very bottom of the beard. Alright, next up, I'm going to clean up around his ear and his neck with a straight razor. And then I'm also going to come in with a safety razor and go against the green. So just leave a really smooth, bald fade. Dorco blades. Personally, find these to be the best uh, straight razor blades. They're uh, they just uh, cut really smooth compared to Derby or other brands. This is the the ones I've liked the most so far.
we're gonna be doing a hot towel shave. If you don't do hot towels, you need to start doing hot towels. Your customers are gonna love it and they're gonna take care of you for it. So check that out. Before I put it on the face, I make sure it's not too hot. Put it on there. And I'm also gonna be doing a facial massage with the Babyliss Massager. And in the end, this is all going to help you get a better result when it comes to the shave. It really softens up the hair, moisturizes the skin. So when you go to shave, you get a really close shave. So definitely do this if you're not doing it already. After I shave with the grain, I'm going to come back and shave against the grain and get all the stubble. This is going to give you a really, really crispy line in the end. And your skin will be extra smooth, which means it'll last longer. It'll look better longer. So it's all adding value to your service. If you haven't already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any new, um, any advice for me, any techniques, or just tell me what y'all think down below in the comments. I actually uh, haven't been out of college very long. It'll be two years uh, in February 6th. But, um, I did manage to open this shop. 
within that time frame. The shop will be open for one year, February as well. But that doesn't mean I'm not learning and still trying to grow. So any advice, any tips will definitely help. my one guard open on the eyebrows so y'all can do this on your clients I just recently started uh, going against the green on the eyebrows with one guard open because I was worried about it being too short but it actually looks good and then you can go in and line it up with the trimmers when I do eyebrows I really just barely clean them up Clean up the baby hairs and whatever hairs are sticking out of out of the sides to make it more crispy. I don't make them thin unless that's how the client wants them. But for the most part, just clean them up just a little bit. coming in with some level 3 aftershave this stuff smells really good so when I get done with you you're gonna be looking good and smelling good go to our website book your appointment if you live in Oklahoma City or if you're in town www.fadefathers.com
There's the before. And there's the after. Let me know what y'all think down below. Subscribe, like the video. Peace.